in the 70s, but it was in the 80s. My mom is not that old yet. <laughs> um, first and foremost, I would like to thank the National Council and the judges for selecting me for this award. I'm truly humbled by the experience since the announcement. As a uh, little kid on the boat surviving um, concentration camp 30 years ago, Never in my widest dream that I will be standing here tonight. Only in America that this could happen. So, with that, I have to thank the men and women who serve in the military for the courage to fight for freedom. Without their work, without their courage, I wouldn't be here today. So, to you all, thank you for all my life. When the announcement came out four weeks ago, I went home and I told my mom, and in one breath, she said, good son, um, don't, get it, don't let it get over your head, now work harder. <laughs> See, I grew up in an environment where I believe that uh, anyone is capable of generating ideas, but it takes an entire support system to carry out an idea to fruition. I'm fortunate to have colleagues and mentors who have the ultimate wise vision in supporting my words. For that, I have to thank my mentor, Mark Griffith, the director for Orange County Health Care Agency. I'm also in debt to the countless, cli countless clients and family members who have provided me with the inspiration and the solid foundation in my recovery work. You see, their stories of struggle and triumph are the reason why we're here tonight to celebrate and honor entities and individuals that you've seen earlier who have made a difference in people's lives. We have come a long way in the recovery movement, but we still have a far distant go to go as long as one individual or one family is still struggling with accessing the appropriate services to meet their needs. And the appropriate services that they rightfully deserved are services that integrate whole person health care. As a self-identified consumer, a family member, and a clinician, I truly recognize the importance of unity and advocacy. Now, I agree, and yes, I agree with Sam's slogan, behavioral health is essential, prevention works, people recover, and treatment is effective. But that can only happen if you have access to culturally appropriate whole person health care. So I believe that working together, we all can create an integrated services essential to meet the health care needs of the whole community where no one is left behind. That's the important piece. Finally, I would like to thank, take this opportunity to thank you, my family, for being there for me every step of the way as I travel my own recovery journey. And to my father, who passed away last year, this is for you, Pop. Thank you.